hello and welcome i am raghav and in this session we are going to learn custom keywords in catalon studio so we will see what are custom keywords and how do we create custom keywords in catalon studio this is going to be very easy and very interesting and i will go step by step and we'll start from scratch so in catalon studio we have built-in keywords which are already present we don't have to create them they they come along with catalon studio and it uh, the it covers the these keywords covers most of the scenarios that we may be using for our testing so if i go to my catalon studio you can see we have seen this already in the earlier session if you go to the extreme left side you will see this keywords browser and if you open this you can see these built-in keywords and for let's say we are doing web ui testing you can expand this and for any action you want let's say browser actions all these close browser open browser move back move forward new tab navigate to url etc everything is here similarly if you want to see alert related keywords accept alert accept dismiss etc all these are here so generally for any of our scenarios for general testing whatever we will need like clicking a button uh, you know checking the text verifying something is present or not all these are already present but sometimes they may be something custom we, we want to do and we may not find a direct keyword already present or it can also be that you want to club some actions and some keywords together and want to create a simple and a single keyword for all those actions in both of these scenarios we can create custom keywords so these are user defined keywords that means we create these keywords and we can script for these keywords and then we can we can script for the actions and then we can expose them as keywords and these keywords will be then present as custom keywords in our catalon studio okay so let's see how do we create these custom keywords so step number one is we will first create a new custom keyword and for this you can go to file new keyword or you can also directly go to the keywords folder in your test explorer and then do a right click and say new keyword let me show you a demo for this so you can go to file new and you will find an option for keyword here you can go from here or you can directly go to the keywords folder here in your test explorer and you can do a right click and say new keyword okay you can also first create a package if you don't create any package it will go to the default package which is here okay so let's say i will say this is my keyword one you can give some meaningful name based on what actions you are going to do but you can give any name here i am saying my keyword one now here we also have samples here we have options to create some sample keywords for web for mobile and for api now this can be useful so if you don't know how to do scripting of a for a keyword and you want some samples and some scripts you can check this and it will show you some samples so let me also check this and say okay and this will generate the keyword script and you can see it has come here my keywords one and this is in groovy so you will see this groovy and you will see some import statements you can collapse these and you can see this is how you will see you can will create a class my keyword one and then you will create functions okay which will be exposed as keywords so you can see refresh browser click element and then we have all these get html table rows you can see some examples here okay so we have done step number two we have uh, created the keyword and we have also got our script and the editor that we can see here this is our editor and the script is there okay now here uh, let me let me close all this okay or let me do one thing i will uh, create another keyword i will do a right click and say new keyword and i will say this is my keyword demo and this time i am not selecting any of the 
samples i don't want to generate any samples and i will say okay and here so now you can see it has come here and now you can see it has just added a class so public class my keyword demo whatever name you select will come here for the class and now it does not have any functions or any keywords so this will be good to understand so i'm starting from scratch and here i will say so you will actually have to create a function and for creating a function in groovy we say def and then the name of the function let us say i will say hello and bracket start and stop and then a curly bracket start and stop okay so this is how we create a function in groovy okay now we can write anything here whatever actions you want to do so for now i'm just saying i want to say print so to print we use println and i will say hello this is what i want okay i'm just printing simple hello or you can say hello world or whatever you want let us say hello world okay and you can save it so this is our function but see this is until now is not a keyword so if you go to your keywords browser here and see custom keywords you will not find your keyword here okay these keywords are coming from this uh, my keywords dot groovy but you will not find your keyword which is hello here so for that you will have to add a an annotation at keywords at the top of this function so you will say at and start typing keyword if you press control plus space on your keyboard you will also see auto suggestion or it will auto complete this so you can see it has auto completed also if you expand these import statements you can see a lot of import statements are added and some of these we do not need so you can press control plus shift plus o key on your keyboard or command plus shift plus o if you are on mac and you can see it has removed all the unnecessary imports so that it makes our code very clean and you can now save it and now if you go to your keywords browser and go to custom keywords you will see your keyword has come here okay this is our new keyword which is printing hello world on the console so we have done step number four here now we can use this keyword in a test case we can drag and drop or directly add custom keyword in a test case and then we can save and run and check if this is working fine so let's say i will go to the test cases folder and let's create a new test case i will call it as keywords demo and here so you can see i can go to this add drop down and here you will find option for custom keyword if you select this it will add it will show you all the custom keywords present in a in this drop down i can select my custom keyword or you can also go to the keywords browser from here and drag and drop the keyword like this okay and save and let's run and check if it is printing hello world on the console so this is running and it has everything is running fine you can see all this is passed so you can go and check this is all fine i will go to the console here and yes you can see it has printed hello world and because we have executed the keyword two times we can see it here two times okay so this is running fine now one more thing uh, let's say you also want to pass some input parameter to a keyword you can say def uh, you can create another function so we can create multiple functions or multiple keywords in a single class so based on your needs you can create these keywords in a single class or if you want separate classes you can do use them so i'm saying let's say hello user and again i'm creating this groovy function here but this time i want to take a input argument from the user which will come in this brackets here and then the same i will use to print here okay so here i can say this should be of type string so i can say string and you can use any variable name let us say user and then when i say print 
if I press control space I should get this option print ln is here so print ln is print and then move to the next line okay uh, here I will say hello and then I want to append whatever input I get from you from the user whatever comes in this variable user I want to append it here so for that I will just use the plus symbol and use the variable name so I will say plus user okay so which is this variable here okay so this is also how we can do it and of course we will have to use the annotation at keyword and only after that it will be exposed as a custom keyword so make sure that you save your project and after that when you go and check you will see the keyword here hello user is here so let me try to add this in our test case so if I add this custom keyword hello user you can see it is asking us for an input okay so I will have to give some value here let's say I give my name Raghav and then say ok save and run your test and now we will check the console and you can see here uh, did it fail let us see the log viewer yeah it executed it here and if I check the console it is printing hello world let me check if we have saved it okay this is okay I will save and run it again and check so this is running here and yes here you can see it is printing this okay so this is fine and then we can also declare the category of the keyword using keyword object so just in case you want to categorize your custom keywords in categories let's say all the browser related you want to create a separate category etc you can always also use this details in the keyword annotation keyword object equals browser so let's say i will show you if i go here within this bracket i can say keyword object if you press control space you will also get this auto suggestion and you can say equals what are you want to give name to your category let's say i will say browser okay and you can then save okay and now you can see in the custom keywords you have got a category called browser okay so this is also you can create categories for custom keywords okay so this is how we can create and use custom keywords i hope this was very useful i will see you in the next session Thank you for watching and never stop learning.